The closure of 10 stations and building five new ones um, will put the public safety at risk. Um, not unexpected, to be fair, uh, despite the, the best efforts of, of the members of the public and, and, and interested parties in the fire service to, to stop it from happening, but uh, yes, very disappointed. The um, authority claimed that um, by reducing the stations from 10 to 5, it won't put any more people at risk. Would you agree? No, no, that's... Um, uh, it, 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 I wouldn't say that it's uh, uh, misleading, but it, it's... Obviously, if you're going to um, uh, thin out the resources, then the the service that will be provided will be much more stretched. Um, you can't you can't remove seven fully operational firefighting engines and say that the people of the West Yorkshire are not at greater risk. It's it's just completely wrong. Um, they say that they're going to be able to do this without losing jobs compulsory. Do you welcome that? There is no, uh, that's, that's wrong as well. There are compulsory redundancies. Uh, you ask the firefighters at Otley um, and uh, Ems Emsworth, who are retained firefighters, they are compulsory redundant uh, now uh, and will lose that income. Um, it's a, a very difficult time for, for those people now. Um, they have to save £25 million pounds from next year's budget. Um, was there any other way that they could have done this? I think um, it, it, it shows where we are when last year management was told to make si savings of 5% in their departments, yet we are looking at a 10% reduction in frontline operational staff. Um, it suggests to me that they've probably got the figures the wrong way around and maybe 10% in each department and perhaps maybe 5% in operational staff. Um, the West Yorkshire Fire Service headquarters is a vastly underused resource. Um, millions of pounds have been spent here uh, and as you can see for yourself today it's, it's like a ghost town. Um, maybe looking at outsourcing some of the training that we do or maybe even looking at a, a regional training facilities which will uh, generate revenue. Just finally, they say that re response times will still be acceptable, would you agree? No, um, the response times are not acceptable. Only a couple of years, to, uh, years ago, the response times were 5 minutes 41 into a very high risk area. Um, now that's been extended to 7 minutes. Now unless there's been some uh, modern construction methods or modern fire prevention equipment that I don't know about, a fire still grows at the same rate that it did a couple of years ago. So it will be a much more developed fire before the first uh, appliance attends.